Okay, so it is uh, currently week eight, um, exactly week eight and like two days actually. Uh, the last I left off, I believe, was when I was getting the splints out from the roof of my mouth. Uh, the next day I had gone to the orthodontist and uh, they just changed the top wire uh, because they had cut it during surgery so it needed to be changed to maintain, you know, um, the the upper jaw. Uh, so it doesn't because it was widened so just to kind of make sure it heals properly so they they only changed the top uh, metal uh, they did not have to change the bottom metal um, he gave me rubber bands which I don't have right now right now but they're like a triangle basically to bring my teeth uh, down and kind of have them bite together better the bite is pretty good that they the teeth reach each other but I think they need to be a little bit more uh, touching when I do bite down. As you can see, I mean, the swelling is just significantly better. Um, I still have a bit of a, you know, like a, a puffier face than before surgery. I think before surgery, uh, my face was, you know, I had kind of a skinny face and now it just looks a little different um, in that it's a little bit puffy right here still. Um, so this is like two months post-op. Uh, which is generally like 80 to 90 percent of the swelling has gone down by now uh, but it can be up to like from what I'm reading and what I'm told by my doctor and stuff it could be anywhere from like six to nine months before like you can see what your face is going to look like um, so I think this is pretty like pretty close to how it's going to be um, I'm happy with my bite uh, eating is a lot better and um you know breathing at night that i can only um that i can now breathe from my nose and i don't have to keep my mouth open that has been a huge improvement i mean i do find sometimes that i wake up at night and i do have my mouth open <clears throat> but i'm wondering if that's just out of habit because i've literally been doing it my entire life um but i i am able to sleep with my mouth closed which has been so nice the only thing i am kind of concerned about um I don't know if I should really be concerned yet is that I can't really open my mouth like super wide yet um, I since I think I haven't had much progression in the past couple weeks um, my previous I don't know what measurement they use I think millimeters maybe my previous um, measurement for how wide I can open my mouth before surgery was 50 um, and then week five when I had my last um, uh, appointment with my surger, surgeon um, it was at 20 still so they believe that you know it, that I can hopefully get up to 50 or close to it um, it just takes time obviously because until the the muscles I guess or whatever just gets used to it and kind of maybe continues waking up from surgery if it was if it's like I don't know if it's like now uh, what's the word maybe if it like stayed tight after surgery and you just have to stretch it out to loosen it up um, I'm hoping that my mouth will open wider than this because in like I'm just thinking about the future like I would not want it to just stay like this I would definitely want it to be um, a little bit wider um, so we'll see I did have uh, my my jaw did like pop a few days ago um, like how it used to the TMJ um, it popped a few times in one day and it actually hurt really bad and then there was a couple other times that same day and then the next day like while I was yawning it like lightly clicked and it did not hurt that bad so that was good um, but generally like my jaw is not popping as much as it used to um, I mean granted I'm not opening my mouth as wide as I used to as well so I don't know if that's going to change um, I don't know I guess the popping of the mouth was a little bit like it hurt but I was kind of like maybe a little bit happy about it knowing that maybe my mouth is opening a little wider um, physical therapy is something that you know possibly would I would need physical therapy um, they say it's pretty rare that someone would need physical therapy after jaw surgery um, just to kind of regain like I don't know motion and like uh, like all the full mobility of their jaw um, but that wouldn't be up until like three or four months after surgeries when they would actually decide if I need physical therapy or not. So here's my bite right now. My uh, doctor's office did send uh, my before and after pictures, um, so I'll include those too. 
it was the first one is um, like a week before surgery or a few days before surgery maybe and then the uh, after is a uh, week five okay <clears throat> another um, update so uh, we're trying the mr. beast burger however the burger was too big to eat so what I do is I take it apart one patty on with one piece of bread another patty with another piece of bread and I eat it in two halves basically because um, I'm trying to I'm unable to open wide enough to take a bite of the whole sandwich so that's how I eat the burger in the meantime hopefully until it gets bigger and the fries for an actual review of Mr. Beast Burger, because why not? This is our first time trying it. It's definitely good. I wouldn't rush back to get it again. It is a little pricey. I wouldn't call it overrated because I think that has a negative connotation to it. I think it's hyped up a lot and it is good. And I think Mr. Beast, like he doesn't make any profit. He just reinvests Papa, all the profits that he Papa, makes from this company. Really I think something like that. Lungs. So I guess that's good. Papa, I really like lungs. Okay. And he has no problems with lungs. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. Okay, go eat your chicken. Okay. So someone had asked about the swelling and how to reduce it. Um, the swelling is going to just be really bad at the beginning, the first week or so. Um, obviously there is some ways to help reduce it. Um, and you can kind of, if you just stay consistent with those things, hopefully reduce some, but you also just have to give it time that it will go down on its own. So um, from what I was told, icing your face only works like the first like maybe four, five days. Um, after that, it's kind of just, you know, just sit like the swelling just has to go down on its own. Um, so if you have to make sure to consistently like ice your face, the hospital should be able to give you um, ice bags that you can kind of tie um, and kind of hang over your face a little. I used to um, kind of hold them together sometimes or with my shoulders and kind of squeeze them onto my face. Um, and let me see if I can find the ice bags. I was only able to find one of the ice bags, but it looks like this that they give you, and you can kind of tie it together to put one on each side. Um, I used to kind of hold it up to my face and kind of like um, like pull the string down and just really kind of give it some pressure as well as the cold. Um, you know, compression and ice will help reduce the swelling. Um, walking around, sit, sleeping upright is um, a huge thing. Um, if you're sleeping kind of laying flat, first of all, it's not even going to be comfortable in the first place. But um, if you do sleep uh, flat, then um, that can also uh, make the swelling uh, look a little um, kind of worse in the morning or like uh, make it last longer. Um, sleeping upright, going for walks, and, um, and then ice and compression is really the best thing that I can think of. Um, and things that I've like researched myself and asked my doctor, um, that's just the best way to um, reduce the swelling. Um, I asked them, I saw a trend on TikTok about drinking a bunch of pineapple juice the day before surgery. Um, I did not try it and they did not know if that's even a thing or not. So um, I don't know about that, but um, ice compression and uh, walking and sitting, uh, sleeping upright is I think the main things that someone can do uh, to help reduce swelling. Um, one thing that made my swelling a lot worse too, this may not happen to everyone, but I developed like a hematoma on this side, um, which is just like a pocket of blood um, inside the surgical site. Um, and the blood had, you know, accumulated and became kind of like a little, kind of a golf ball size of a blood clot in there. Um, I ended up going week five. I think I showed that on my um, one of my previous videos. Or maybe it was like day eight, actually, now that I think about it, because it was after I got, um, I was able to open my mouth. Um, and they opened the incision again, and then they went in and suctioned out a bunch of blood clot, and then that dramatically reduced um, the swelling in my face. Something else someone had asked about um, in my previous video was um, just brushing their teeth um, in general, uh, because it was very sore and it's kind of hard to open your mouth and get into the hard to reach places. 
fresh um, after surgery. Um, for now, for now, for me, like week eight, it's a lot easier. Um, but I definitely had a lot of trouble as well um, brushing my teeth. Um, so I actually used a like a kid's toothbrush. Um, this was given by my doctor's office and I think it's a great idea because it's like a lot softer and a lot smaller that you don't have to open your mouth as wide. I kind of just brush my teeth in sections. Um, I'd even like uh, mostly started really focusing on this after the surgery just because it was like kind of tiring to keep my mouth open. Um, so I'd really have to focus to kind of make it as effective as possible, I guess. And I definitely did not brush for two minutes, but, um, but I would just, you know, start with the front or something um, under the brackets and then in the back. And then I would do the section, like same thing at the very back. I would do the very top under the brackets and then the bottom and the back. And then same thing on this side. So I would do it in basically six sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. And be careful around your stitches. Don't like kind of go too much if you still have the stitches in. Um, don't kind of brush in that area too much because if you accidentally like brush on top of the stitches, that can loosen them up before they're ready to come out. So um, you want to try to avoid that. So here are the bands. I'm going to show how I put them on because before I, when I first got them, I struggled really hard. If it helps you eventually to learn how to put them on, that'll be good. Um, but yeah, I struggled a lot when I first got them. So I start from the top, hook it to the bottom, and then right there. So there is a triangle. So that is that side. Same thing on the other. And there you go. Before I try to put all three of them at the same time, kind of, and that uh, it does not work. It's very difficult to do. So one at a time will work perfectly. And that's what they look like. Let me know if there's anything specific, if you guys are having this surgery, um, tell me about how your experience was or how it's going so far or when you're gonna have it. If there's anything specific that you want me to cover um, that I've gone through, um, let me know and I'd be happy to talk about it as well. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for um, another update hopefully after i get the wires changed again and then i see my uh, surgeon for the post-op appointment i think it's like uh, three months so like in a month from now thanks for watching